Today's podcast is brought to you by Smart Deploy, faster than semantic ghost, easier than SCCM. You can go to smartdeploy.com slash FRD for a free offer and the links in the description. And I was just yeah. commenting on Paul's complexion. <laughs> but Paul, we before, before, we, before we talk beauty, yeah, we have been doing this podcast with Windows for how long? Whatever. Uh, four years. So if you notice with this nice Smart Deploy uh, little window box here thing, if you notice, oh, it's I not, noticed. If you notice, <laughs> it's, it's not, not full screen, despite no, being a little, in. What is that little guy down there? Full screen That's mode. A, I see. But it, it's not, and they're it's both not. nineteen twenty by ten. I don't know if this is a bug in Windows, but it, they're both nineteen twenty by ten. I, I don't know. It, you know, it's a Monday morning. Um, we didn't change any settings. Obviously, it's not going to work correctly. All I'm saying is they're both nineteen twenty by ten eighty images. It should be full screen, and yet it's not. Yeah. No, Anyways. Uh, I was commenting on Paul's eyelashes before we started because it looks like he's done something. Because now you can see them. Because now I can see that they're not just some blur. Yeah. Yeah, so today I'm uh, not only the new camera, but I'm testing the microphone I'm going to bring to Mexico and then on future trips, uh, assuming it works out. It seems like it's going to. Mexico. Didn't you already go to Mexico? I did, yeah. And it's you're... possible to go on multiple times because it's a little iffy in Europe. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised moment. they're letting you back in. I sent a lot of letters to the consulate <laughs> down there. Oh, well. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. iPad sales fell in Q2. Technically, well, yeah. technically they fell. I would say they were flat. And this is based on one analyst firm, Canalis, because uh, I don't, I, it's just so hard getting data on this stuff. Normally, I like to go through IDG, mm -hmm. IDC, sorry, and um, Gardner if possible. But, you know, things, it's tough. Like net market share is gone, you know? That was the uh, web browser metric firm that mm -hmm. my friend Microsoft had always recommended and found to be accurate. Um, so I got to kind of go with stat counter now, which is, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So it's just, you know, I guess the way to present this stuff is like, just to be clear about the guy mowing my lawn outside. Can you hear that? Nope. You can't hear that. Well, maybe on the, when I edit, That's I can't, but I can't It's, right it's now. really loud. Um, the back door is wide open apparently. Anyway, um. Yeah, so Canalis, uh, actually, they had data for PCs, tablets, and Chromebooks. Um, mm -hmm. I skipped over the PC bit because that's one area where I do get, you know, data from IDC and Gartner. But... Wait, what? You said that market share is gone, but I'm on their website. <laughs> yeah, but re look around. Well, unless they've just come back or something because they, they disappeared. Like, look at the web browser stuff. Like, they stopped doing web, web browser, what they call market share, I mean, months ago. I got desktop versions. Really, it's just sitting there without any disclaimers. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so okay. what Paul is saying is, Brad, there's a giant blue box that takes up, uh, we'll round down and say 40% of the screen that says important notice. After 14 years of service and being used as primary source of tens of thousands of articles and publications, we are retiring. Okay, maybe Paul's yeah. right. It's Monday. It's okay. Yeah. Anyways. Um, it's okay. Anyhow, I did, I did not know that. Yeah, that's a tough one because I trusted those guys, <laughs> you know. Um, Shows you how worthwhile Microsoft's recommendations are. I'll go, although that was back in what, the IE days that they were yeah, saying? Yeah, from this is certainly dated. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I uh, There's a lot of firm counterpoint is one, you know. Mm -hmm. I, you see this stuff almost every day. Like I'm not going to write every single time anyone comes up with a blah, 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 whatever about whatever market. But I feel like I should at least be representative, you know, so. Um, uh, certainly Apple's iPad revenues are up, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, so I don't know, whatever. Yeah, the company had I a never... decent quarter. It's, uh... Did they? I don't really, it didn't really resonate with me. Yeah, um, I mean, they made a couple dollars. Yeah. Something like two, maybe, maybe three. Right. True. Well, that's good. I'm glad they're going to make it this time. So my kid, <laughs> my kid caught me off guard this weekend. Uh, we were doing some work around the house and she mm -hmm. was looking at the outlets on the wall. Like, you yeah. know, where you just plug things in. Mm -hmm. And she goes, Daddy, what kind of computer port is that? Right. And then, and I was like, what do you mean? She goes, well, where are the batteries that power that? Where are they in the house? <laughs> and I was like, wow. just it, from her perspective, it makes complete sense. Like you plug things into a laptop. She knows what a USB cord is because she has to plug her iPad into that little wall wart thing that mm -hmm. would do it. And then she just assumed that there were batteries in the house. And it was just sort of a fi fascinating, like you just, it's whatever, it's an outlet. And to her, it's a computer port. Yeah, trust me, when the grid goes down, you'll wish you had batteries. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I 
this. Yeah. Which, I would love to put solar on this house. That is that is one yeah. of the things that I would love to do, and then put a big honk in. Because I've I've thought about like buying a a backup generator because we lose power right. here not a, a ton, but we get storms. I mean, things go mm -hmm. down for days. We had you especially I had bar if it's the winter, and yeah, I, that could be really dangerous, obviously. And so I've thought of, the problem is is that the cost analysis benefit for a a solar panel plus battery is yeah. is very much outweighed by i can go to home depot and buy a generator for four or five hundred bucks and yep. just be done but yep. it, it's there's no there, but there's no apps with the generator <laughs> hey, speaking of which how's your little weather station thing dude did you love it yeah love it it's uh where did you end up mounting it or whatever um i posted a picture on, on the twitter did which it? you can see okay. but so i i went to home depot and i was in the electrical section as one might be and they sell, I guess not all that surprising, but they sell, uh, it, it's an arm that's designed to attach to a telephone pole. So it comes up and out, like makes a nice slow arcing 90 degree turn. And it's right. designed to put lights on for like street lights. So it's big, but robust and heavy. What I did was I just turned it upside down and mounted it to my soffit. So it comes out and up. And so it's like above my roof line. Now it's gonna impact like the wind a little bit because I guess the wind coming off the roof could screw things up. But I'm not I'm not here to yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's a novelty. I enjoy it as a nice yeah, little yeah, display. I just found your picture. Way, yeah, so it's good. yeah. Doesn't it look? It looks sem. I call it semi professional. It looks, yeah. No. Look, I I would just yeah. call it professional. It's, it collected rain. It looks like it was designed for that. It does. Like it, it, if anybody who didn't realize what it was, you'd be like, oh, that's great. But if you looked yeah. really close, I kind of covered up the ends so they're harder to see, and you'd be like, well, there's connections on it, but whatever. But it works. I mean, that's yeah. It's, it's good. Like ten bucks. It's worth every every dollar. So. Someday I'm gonna have you come here and do my house over. Well, one thing you should do is check out this quick message from our friends over at Smart Deploy. <laughs> the modern workplace requires modern IT tools. When legacy solutions like Ghost, MDT, and Acronis Snap Deploy no longer fit the bill, try Smart Deploy's modern endpoint management solutions. Head on over to smartdeploy.com/frd to get started with your free exclusive software worth over five hundred and seventy dollars. That segue was so smooth, Paul almost spit his coffee all over his computer. I literally was <laughs> champing at the bit to say, weren't you a little nervous after the background image there that that wasn't going to work out correctly, but it worked great. It was perfect. Smooth yeah. Yeah. operation. Much like your... like I like HP stuff, but I I despise their naming conventions. Their, oh, name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because here's the headline for everybody who can't see the webpage that I'm looking at, written by mm -hmm. Paul Throt. Hands on with the HP EliteBook 840 Aero G8. I know. I yeah. Know. Like so the looks... G8 is obviously the generation number. Um, in Aero the Elite is book the design range, language have, from Windows yeah. 7. <laughs> well, they have, I don't know if they have lower and then 8. They must. Um, but I, I usually get like the 8 or 10 series. So it's like um, the first number is the series 8. Right. Mm -hmm. um, just I guess we'll call it mid level in the premium space. The next four is the is screen size is an eight thirty for a thirteen inch screen and eight forty for fourteen inch. I guess there's an eight fifty if there is one for fifteen. Um and then this version, it's it's weird. One thing HP has been doing lately is they do mid what I think of as a mid season refresh, right? So um they've already released a G eight of the eight forty. They the G seven was just last year. I mean they went from I guess 10th to 11th gen CPUs, uh, Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 4, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then they're like, hey, we could make this thing a lot lighter if we use magnesium alloy instead of uh, aluminum everywhere. And then they ch chop like half a pound off of it. And they're like, we'll just release it in exactly the same form factor, it'll just weigh less. We'll call it the Arrow and we'll charge people 100 bucks more for that. And uh, okay. Hmm. But I think that I agree. I, HP happens to be, I shouldn't say that. I, I like HP a lot. Um, I, I feel like they make too many computers. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, like I said, they make good product. There's just there's too many a of lot. Them. And uh, yeah, and and the lines blur. You know, there's um, you go down. You know, from Elite to um, Envy to you know Pavilion Range. You know, or Spectre, and you know they have prosumer, consumer, commercial. You know, whatever. And there's a lot of it, and there's a lot of overlap, and. Um, Mm -hmm. they're they're making transitions in some places but not others to 16 by 10 screens and even 3 by 2 in some cases which is great but not universal like that one 16 by 9 um 
you know, they have different keyboard designs, which I find bewildering. This one has a little pointer nub, and for some reason, I don't get that. Uh, the 10 series does not. I don't. I don't. It, it's weird. Like it's hard to. Mm-hmm. Most of them still come, and this is not unique to HP. This is everyone. Um, you know, crappy 720p webcams, and then the Dragon Max, Dragon Max, Dragonfly Max that I recently reviewed actually has a five megapixel front-facing camera, which makes the bezel a little bit bigger, so that makes it a little more acceptable. And it's and I'll use that. You'll see it next week because I'm going to use it. I'll use that in Mexico for the podcast. And um, you know, compared to 720p, it's awesome. Compared to this, it's not that great, but uh, big difference. But only on that one computer, <laughs> like this one does. This one has the same size bezel; it could easily fit it, but it doesn't have it. I, don't know. I appreciate that Paul fixed his webcam, and the first thing he's going to do is like, ah, I, I I earned a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought about taking it. The thing is, it's big. It's it's yeah, and it's. A cuboid, you know. One mm-hmm. thing that's neat about this, by the way, uh, this is an Elgato face cam, I think it's called, is it stores whatever configuration profile you make on the device. So if I sit here and screw with the color. Oh, and that's whatever, nice. Yeah, I take it with me. If I did, I don't think I'm going to just because of the size. I'm trying to keep down what I'm bringing. But um, yeah, it will just be the same. It will be the same no matter what computer you connect it to or wherever you go with it. So that's that's a, it's nice. Well, it's doubly nice i was gonna say doubly nice but that's not right mm, I like uh, because i use upstairs i use the logitech c920 but i have it mm. cropped and and the color corrected a little bit right. but if the software crashes which logitech software likes to crash on my machine for whatever yeah you have to go reason, back and just do it all again well that and the camera just like freaks out and then yeah. everything is lost like mid stream or whatever it's so that might be appealing Yep. It's good. I mean, it's 1080p. It's not 4K, and it's um, yeah. doesn't have HDR, I guess, uh, which is a little surprising. But I don't know. It seems nice. You seem nice, just like <laughs> our friends over at Smart Deploy. It's 47% faster than Semantic Ghost and 100% worth it. You can check out smartdeploy.com/frd, and we'll catch all of you right back here tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow.